Now, I want to show you the difference between a top end of the economy, so, you know, everything's selling within a weekend, I really don't need to worry, and a property that we sold in the recession. So here, ASDA, 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 uh, Argos, 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 B&Q, 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 super cheap. And ASDA home is generally cheaper than IKEA for many things, so don't be fooled. Um, and here is in the recession. So what we left was 12.99, 12.99, 12 But um, this was, I think that lampshade was 90 quid. Now, I replaced it with a 225 one from Ikea. You know, these are original 1950s Urkel tables. Here is the leather chair that my daughter, age seven, was then um, bidding in an auction in Melrose, original 1940s. These are design sofas from Habitat. This is an original 1950s Urkel restored uh, table. Um, these are from my mum's garden, which is very nice. For these are um, Eames chairs, the originals, 300 pounds each. So the difference is, I increased my posing kit, but what did I leave? White walls, beige carpet, and 12.99, 12.99, 12.99 from B&Q. So the end result was the same. I got the highest per square foot that year for a two bedroom flat in a recession. But I removed all the stuff. So just there, you know, even the pestle is useful for your posing kit as well. So it's not just about colour and prettiness, it's actually about, I want the highest per square foot, please, and therefore I need to tell you this property is expensive. Um, so as we, if we are starting to reduce down the economy, guess what? My posing kit becomes designer again.